Now that we have been able to sanitize, that's clean up our data and also validate, check and see whether the input field that the user entered meets our requirement. We need a place to store the data. So we need a database. We are going to use MySQL database. So click on start for the MySQL. Also click on admin. Okay, as you can see, this is what we have. So why I create a new database? So click on new. Give your database a name. So I'm going to call it Instagram. You can choose to call it anything that you want. Click on create. Database consists of one or more tables. The data in the MySQL database are stored in table. A table is a collection of related data and it consists of columns and rows. So over here, we need to create a table. So you can give your table a name. Since we are inserting users data, I'll give the table name users. And over here, the number of columns for, then click on create. So this is what we have. So the first thing that we need is the user ID to identify that this person login. So that's identification. So we are going to write user underscore ID. And want it to be a primary key and also auto equipment, which is this one. Second thing that we need is the username, which is a string, so it will be virtual. Nova, let's make 255. And the second one is the full name, user full name. That one too is virtual. 255. Then the user email. That one too is virtual. 255. Let's increase the number of columns. Click on create. Okay. The second one is the password. The password over here will be virtual 255. And we have the profile image. The profile image over here is also virtual. So this one over here, over here, this one, let's make it 255. And over here, click on. That's fine. Nova will be public. The profile is image is inside the public folder asset and profile image. And there is it. Download the resource file in this video description, which is this one. So we have the public folder, then slash assets, slash images, slash profile image, which is this one. Then it's default dash user dot png. Slash default dash user dot png. Okay, so now this is what we have. The second thing is the bio, that the description of what the user. So that one we test. We also have the IP address, so the private IP. That one will be virtual. Also 255. Then the operating system that the user is using. That one to is virtual. Then we also have IP underscore browser. That's the browser that the user is using to log in. That one to is virtual. Then two five five. So you need another one, sign up. So sign up. 
that one is vacha dates so this one is date time so this one is date time and the default y will be current timestamp save it then click on save scroll down click on save okay so this is what we have public slash assets slash images slash profile image then default dash user dot png so everything is working fine so see you in the next video